Hello guys, in this tutorial I will teach you the degree of relationships. In last lecture I, uh, we, I discussed about uh, the entities uh, and attributes and attributes types in detail. So now discuss the relationship uh, in detail. Uh, the relationship always exists between two or more than two entities. The degree of relationship is defined as it is the number of entity types that participate in it. It can be unary relationship, it can be the binary relationship or ternary relationship. So we have major three relationship types. Uh, in unary relationship an entity has the relationship with itself. Uh, in binary relationship, uh, binary relationship always exists between the two entities and the ternary relationship exists uh, among the three entities. Uh, you can see the definitions one entity related to another of the same entity type, entities of two different types related to each other and here ternary is the entity of three different types related to each uh, other. Cardinality of relationships. There are three cardinalities uh, of relationship uh, um, between uh, two uh, entities. The first one is one to one. Uh, one to one in one to one each entity in relationship will have exactly one related entity in one to many an entity on one side of the relationship can have many related entities but an entity on other side will have maximum of one related entities this means in one to many uh, once uh, in one to many uh, cardinality uh, on one side of the entity there is a one uh, related entity and on the other side there uh, uh, there is a possibility of uh, many uh, related entities in many to many relationship uh, cardinality entities on both side of the relationship can have many related entities on the other side Cardinality constraints. Cardinality constraint is the number of instances of one entity that can or must be associated with each instance of the another entity. Mi minimum cardinality. Uh, minimum cardinality is uh, if zero then optional, if one or more then mandatory. If the relationship cardinality on one. Uh, on one side of um, uh, entity is optional and then uh, it is zero otherwise it is a uh, mandatory maximum cardinality is the maximum uh, number you can see uh, this figure uh, this is the example of unary relationships uh, here the person person relationship with the person is always one to one for example a person married to person so a person is married to a person is one to one relationship uh, both entities in uh, this case will be persons uh, one to many example is employee for example employee manage employee so this is one to many or we can say the for many employees there is a one boss or one uh, coordinator uh, who manage these employees so this is the example of one to many and this is again an example of one to one where team uh, manage the team these are the example of binary relationships here employee is assigned a parking space so uh, or we can say parking space is assigned to the employee so there is a relationship between two different entities here there are two entities product line and product 
so again the relationship is binary because it exists between the two different entities and similarly student and course entities is related using a binary relationship now we can see the cardinality here is one to one one employee one particular space is assigned to one employee or we can say it for each employee there is assigned only particular one uh, particular parking space in one product line there is a possibility of many products or we can share many products a minimum one and the possibility is that there can be maximum uh, products inside one product line similarly one student can register in many courses or in one courses there can be minimum can be many uh, students so this is the case example of the many to many so we have covered here three different cardinalities in binary relationship this is the ternary relationship which exists in three different entities so the one first entity is a vendor second is a part and third is a warehouse so this is a uh, many to many cardinality example so this means many vendors can supply many parts to many warehouses now further examples uh, of cardinality constraints uh, mandatory cardinality uh, as stated in the previous lecture uh, about the cardinality constraint it can be mandatory one it can be optional one mandatory many or optional uh, many so this is the example of the uh, here we have cardinality of mandatory one and here um, uh, optional uh, uh, mandatory uh, mandatory many so there is this is a mandatory many this means uh, one patient can have many patient histories histories but minimum there should be one history if he is a patient and he, he is recorded so this means he must have at least one uh, patient history there is no optional thing here and one patient history must belong to only particular one patient so this means one history cannot be repeated it can be repeated but the particular patient history um, which is assigned uh, to a patient belong to only one uh, patient so a patient must have recorded at least one history and can have many similarly a patient history is recorded for one and only one one optional one mandatory this means this is uh, one uh, man, uh, this is a mandatory uh, many and this is the uh, optional many so this is a mandatory man, many and this is a optional many this uh, this shows that um, one employee many employees uh, are assigned to many projects or we can say one employee uh, can be assigned to uh, many projects uh, or there is possibility that he or she uh, is not assigned to any project so this is optional here or we can say in one project there can be many employees but at least there should be one employee it is means it is not possible that project is uh, in project there is no employee so it must have one employee but it is not necessary for all employees that they are assigned to projects so an employee can be assigned to any number of projects or may not be assigned to uh, any at all and this shows a project must be assigned to at least one employee and may be assigned to many this is the optional cardinality a person is married to person this is the 
optional carnality in a unary relationship a person is married to a person so a person can be uh, a person is married to only one person here and similarly this person is married to this pers um, person but it is not necessary that uh, it should be mandatory it can be optional because the um, marriage is not a uh, mandatory a person is married to at most one other person or may not married at all so he can spend a bachelor life examples of multiple relationships now there are two uh, these are two entities and there can be many possibilities of uh, relationship in, in these two entities employ department so the first possibility is that uh, um, department in department there are workers so department has workers so inside one department there uh, can be many employees uh, and at, but at least there should be one employee so this means uh, it is not possible that there is a department and uh, there is no worker so this is one to many uh, one uh, mandatory many uh, cardinality here similarly we can say that employees uh, uh, work in a department but employees should work in only one department so here is a mandatory option similarly the relationship nature can be changed type can be changed here so what does this relationship show this relationship show that employee uh, manages the department so an employee can manage only and only one department so this one uh, show he or she can manage one department but there is the optional cardinal um, constraint too this means it is not necessary that all employees should manage the departments so this is a um, mandatory uh, optional one uh, cardinal um, constraint similarly department is managed by only and only one employee so this is mandatory this means uh, there is no optional uh, constraint here this means all the department must have uh, the bosses or we can say must be managed by some employee but uh, maximum one employee should be here similarly this is the example of the unary relation where which shows uh, employee supervise employee or employee is supervised by employee so this means employee um, and the, the employee uh, supervise other employees but it is not necessary he can means an employee can supervise many uh, employees but it is not necessary that uh, particular employee can um, supervise all employees so there is also uh, uh, optional uh, constraint here example of multiple relationships this is, uh, this is an ex uh, other another example uh, which shows the relationship between professor and course this means one professor can teach many course but at least he should or she should uh, teach at least one course or we can say um, um, course uh, there can be many professors for particular course but at least there should be one uh, professor uh, so this is actually this is a qualified relationship uh, this means uh, for one particular course there should be one qualified professor or uh, can be many or one professor can uh, can be qualified in many courses or at least one and this is the uh, schedule um, relationship uh, between these two uh, entities so this is the uh, turner relationship actually so the turner relationship internal relationship uh, we we make these 
two ends as a mandatory and these two as a many so the constraint can be here optional or one this means one prof may, uh, many courses can be scheduled to professor and it is um, possible that no course is scheduled or one course can be scheduled to uh, many professors or it is uh, possible also possible that course is not scheduled at all so there are two types further two types of entities either it can it either entity can be strong or weak and strong entity exists independently of other type of entities and has own unique identifier weak entity depend on the strong entity and cannot exist on its own means weak entity must depend on the strong entity This is uh, example uh, which shows employee. Uh, um, this the, 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 these are the two um, entities. So uh, th this entity is uh, the strong entity, and this is the weak uh, entity. Why? Because there is underline two uh, underline uh, uh, lines uh, for the. Uh, we this attribute associative entities an entity has attributes a relationship links entities together when should be a relationship with attribute instead be associative these are the few properties of associative entities all the relationships for associative entity should be many so this is the first characteristic that all the relations should be many only Associative entity could have meaning independent of other entities. Associative entity preferably has a unique identifier and should also have other attributes. The associative entity may participate in other relationship other than the entities of the associative relationship. Turn relationship should be converted to associative entities. So now discuss this with an example. This is the example of the associative entity. So this this is actually the associative entity which is associated between employee and course so this means uh, these two relationship uh, correlate are many so there is the there can be possibility of optional um, or one uh, but the relationship constraint should be um, many here so this this is the uh, certificate uh, associative entity between the employee and uh, course so this means one employee can be issued uh, um, many certificates can be issued to the employee uh, or we can say at least one certificate must be issued to the employee or we can set for uh, um, a particular course many certificates can be issued or there can be possibility that no certificate is issued at all associative entity is like the relationship attribute but it is also considered to be entity at its own so um, this is actually this associative entity is actually producing the association between these two uh, um, entities employee and course but it can be considered as a um, entity so if we remove these two uh, associative uh, coordinates so and we directly link the employee with the course so there must be the many to many relationship between these two so this shows that if we literally uh, do mapping and convert the entities onto tables so this means if there is a many to many relationship so we can convert it to the associative uh, entity uh, and thus we can say three tables will be produced one for uh, entity one one for entity two and one for the associative entity so uh, now that and the many to many coordinate between the entities in f above figure has been replaced uh, by two one to many relationship with the associative entities so this was i uh, just uh, brief you that the actual relationship be before the associative entity was the many-to-many -many relationship so uh, 
now it become easy to understand for you turn relationship as an associative entity so this is the turn relationship uh, as you uh, saw in the last uh, lecture uh, this is a vendor entity part entity and warehouse so if we go back you can see here you can see here this was the actual uh, turn relationship diagram so there is a uh, many signs uh, on all the entity sides but we can see here we can see here it is now converted to a associative entity so we'll put the mandatory uh, coordinate constraint here and we'll bring the associative entity here and the property of associative entity that we must have many to many coordinate here so there can be the possibility of optional or mandatory many but there should be a many coordinate coordinate here this shows uh, one vendor can supply many parts to many warehouses or one part can be supplied to particular one part can be supplied to uh, one many vendor uh, and many warehouses and similarly uh, in one warehouses many uh, parts can be supplied by many vendors but there should be at least one part one warehouse and one uh, vendor so this was all about the um, relationship types laterally we will convert these entities into table and we will put primary and foreign keys uh, to let interrelate the different entities so how will we will uh, convert the entities and the relationship uh, types different types with different cardinalities into table so it will be discussed in our next video so wait for the next video thank you so much for watching me